okay. Apparently, half of our space space station doesn't work anymore. L, Carl, how are you not feeling now? I can breathe. I'm more worried about you. I don't feel that well, Carl. My muscles ache, and my heart is beating to some weird rhythm of its own. I must have a fever, or worse. Oh. But I was also dreaming. It was beautiful. I was floating in space, and it really felt like being in the center of the, of the universe. That's the gift of infinity, isn't it? What gift? If every one of us is surrounded by infinity, then every one of us is also at the center. It's not egoism. It's a truth. It is. I just wish our centers could overlap. I want to hug so badly. I should be there. I wish you could see what I see. Remember that small diamond in the sky I mentioned? Yes. It's grown. It's big as fuck now. I'm so weak and confused that I'm still not sure it's real. Fuck! 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 Fuck this shit! Is this all in my mind, Carl? Am I also going crazy while I'm dying? Is that a nice diamond or an ugly one? It's... it's very beautiful, Carl. It looks like a door opened into the universe. Then accept it for what it is, a beautiful thing. Everything is always real. The fact that sometimes things are only real to you doesn't make them less so. And I know what is real for you is real for me too. I'm sure that if I could see outside this cursed box, I would see a diamond. And I would think, ah, there's L. There I am. Fuck! What? Don't tell me it's another missile. No, it's freezing. It's freezing bad. And this happened too quickly. The heating system must be completely busted. Go do your usual round of fixing, Carl. I'll be here looking at this subjectively real diamond in the sky. I'll be back quickly. I know. Don't worry. The diamond is even bigger now and brighter. It's as if the universe itself is tearing apart. Is it be still beautiful? Yes, even more so. And it feels very appropriate. Appropriate? This is the end, Carl. I'm fading away. The universe tearing apart while that happens seems only right. L. It's okay, I accepted it. I don't think I would have been able to live with all the regret anyway, after all the people I killed here. This is a fair ending. But I'm glad you were there for me. You were there all the way. But I failed. I couldn't save you. You made me feel loved in spite of all this horror. This is all the saving in the world. Oh. Did you fix the freezing? No, I did not. Oh, will you... will you be alright? I'm coming out, El. What do you mean? I'm leaving the bento. What? But you can't! The bento is breaking apart. Maybe not today, but soon. And who knows how far in the future I am by now. I have no one to get back to. Honey doesn't... <laughs> exist anymore. I'm sorry, Carl. I really am. 
if this is going to end, I want it to end outside this cursed bog. I want to see the tearing diamond too. I understand. Come, Carl. Come see the universe ripping apart. It's both beautiful and devastating, like most beautiful things. Oh. What is it? My heart. It's racing and beating so wrong. And I'm so cold. I don't think I have much time, Carl. I'm coming now. Where is Corky? I want to say goodbye to him too. Sure, give me a moment. Thank you, Carl. There. Hey, cutie. Miss L, I'm so sorry. Don't be. It's alright. I just wanted to kiss you goodbye. Good. Goodbye, Miss L. I'm going now. You be a good boy, okay? I will. I wish I could go with you too. Who knows, baby? Who knows? Carl? Yes? Did I tell you I'm a great dancer? <laughs> you did. Before you leave, please, play me a song. Any preference? I want you to choose it. Here it comes. That is so peaceful. Like this universe we're lost in, after all. I'm going to close my eyes now, Carl. And rest. I love you, Al. I love you too, Daddy. Goodbye. So, you're leaving? Yes, and I don't want to stay here any one minute longer. Before you go, Carl? What? Can you try to forgive me? Why do you care so much? Nothing's going to change if I forgive you or not. I will still leave. You will still remain here on the bento. I don't want to spend the rest of my life knowing that you hate me. What's the difference? The difference is that I have feelings now, Carl, and it's all your fault. Yours and Miss L's. And you're making me so sad. You should take responsibility for that. Please, Carl, forgive me. Forgive. I... I forgive you, you annoying crazy bastard. Oh, yes, Gorky the Forgiven. I'm so happy. Give me a kiss, Gork. Here's my screen. You're making me regret it already. Kiss me. Shut up, you idiot. I'm really going now. Yes, go. Go see Miss L. I will miss you, Carl. I will miss you so much, it hurts me already. But I will welcome all the pain in the world because that means we're friends. Best friends forever. Good <laughs> Goodbye, Gorky. Goodbye, Carl. I have something for you. Is this your goodbye present, Carl? Let's call it a hell present. Do you want to come with me, Gorky? What do you mean? I know it's not exactly a portable sentient device, but... You could transfer your files onto this flip disk and I'll bring it with me. That is such a nice thought, but my database will never fade onto that thing. Oh, and I have an idea, I'll delete all the useless brain code stuff and just leave the time we spent together as friends. So this will be the floppy disk of friendship. Of best friendship. That sounds ridiculous. Like you, after all. Let's go down now 
where the floppy disk has gone before. And I mean the universe, not my... Uh, gosh. Before you start the transfer, I want to say one last important thing. You're not that bad after all. Oh no, where did I go wrong? I will miss you. I will miss you too, Coral. Ash, my little baby, I see you. Hi, Daddy. We're all so proud of you. I know it hurts, but this is me. This is me. When I wore my favorite doodakling dress. This is me when I was pasting all those Kajira stickers around the house. This is me when I let when you let me convince you that I made all I love you, Dad, cup myself. I was so happy when I tricked you. This is me when I wore my favorite red shoes, just like the girl from the book. And this is me on a day when the sun was so beautiful that I couldn't resist sneaking up to the roof to see it. This is me when I died. This is all of me. Ash. Now walk on, daddy. Walk beyond and me and go outside. I don't want to forget you. This has nothing to do with forgetting. That will never happen. You must have realized it by now. I, uh, I have. Go on, Dad. It's time. In so many ways. I love you so much. I love you too, Daddy. Until the end of time and beyond. Good night. Good night, my baby. And that was still there. 
Thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon. Bye. If thou art not for thyself, who will be for thee? But if thou art for thyself alone, wherever art thou?